All right, I got you guys positioned where you can see what's going on. Sorry about the noise in the back. It's the forklift. They're bringing boats back and forth. You'll need two towels. You'll need a bulk knocker towel, which is this one here. This one will knock the bulk off. And then this is one of our coating leveling towels from VTailJuice.com. Um, you can buy this in a 10 pack uh, or yeah, a, a bulk pack or the singles. So you'll, you'll wipe the, the bulk of the residue off with this bulk knocker towel and then you'll smooth it out with this one. So I am using my six gallon pancake compressor. I'm running it at about 50 PSI. Um, I do use a filter at the compressor and I use one right here at the gun to make sure no moisture comes through. Um, the coating is actually solvent based, which is oil and well, water is a solvent so that's just a silly statement that i just made so it is solvent based but it's oil based essentially versus water based uh, generally your stronger products are going to be oil harsher solvent based kind of thing um, so you don't want to mix oil with water because it doesn't blend so you want to keep as much moisture out of the deal as possible and having two filters i feel like does it just fine i've also got my digital um, pressure gauge there so I've got it set up how I like it and so all I do here after so I've already washed and wiped down with universal clean and prep at one part product to seven parts water that's the important part that's pretty much how I use universal clean and prep for every application so spray it on Okay, spray it on in a, basically a two foot by two foot section at a time. Then you take your bulk knocker towel and you wipe it in really evenly. Okay, and once you've done that, then you start looking at the lighting. and seeing where your high spots are and then you'll smooth them out with this towel. If you have high spots that you can't smooth out with just the coating leveling towel, you can grab some Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with triple trifecta technology and, uh, it, and just a light mist and that will move the product out of the way so you can smooth it out. The cool part about using Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with triple trifecta technology is that it's not going to remove any of the material. It's just going to break it up so you can smooth it out. So instead of taking that mass of material away, you're, you're going to leave it there, but smooth it out and make it even. So that's it. We'll do another section real quick so you can see that. Move the camera a little bit. All right, and operate at your own risk. Uh, I probably should be using a respirator, but I'm lazy. Oops. And also, I should probably use a respirator, and I recommend that you do too, but do what you gotta do to protect yourself, is all I'm gonna say. off the bulk and wipe her in. And that's it guys. That's all you got to do. Let's make sure there's no high spots. That looks awesome. Check this out. It looks awesome. can see where the primer is down here dropping the phone sorry you can see where the primer is all this uh, yeah I'm pretty sure unless there's one on the other side so it looks awesome all right well that's the process of coating a boat it's not difficult guys my products are awesome they're designed to work 
for me, not me working for them. I make things easy because I got to use this stuff to make money every day. And if it's not easy for me, I'm not going to sell it to you. I promise. So I'm going to get back to work, but that was just a little glimpse of uh, what's happening and what I use. This is a 50 foot Flexzilla one quarter interior diameter uh, air hose. Works awesome. Like I said, there's a filter on the right there. And then uh, I run it. It's actually running right now. It's at 60 PSI. But when you squeeze that trigger actually over there at the gun, it's it's less than that. It's around 48 to 50. So, but this is the Porter cable. I think I paid a hundred bucks for that compressor. It's pretty awesome. I use it for my, uh, it's, it's for like a brad nailer or whatever. I use it with my brad nailer and with spraying on these coatings and it works awesome. Uh, you don't have to buy the smaller setup uh, if you're doing boats and cars. I would just get this set up. Uh, if you're just doing cars, the other smaller master airbrush setup uh, works just fantastic for cars. Um, you're using more material because some of it's going to soak into the gel coat on boats. So uh, I like the the additional flow this offers, and I like the fact that um, I can vary. I can still vary the atomization of the product and the air, but I get more flow um, and a little bit more pressure from this. So uh, it actually works better for boats. So that's why I use this exclusively for boats. So. All right, back to work.